Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Vroid Studio 3D avatar into Blender 4.3 with facial morph, with facial shape key, with the full skeleton, full bones. And all of this shape key facial expression will not will finally work normally in Blender. And the whole 3D avatar will be ready for your 3D animations. And start from now, I'm going to show you all the step-by-step step how to make this. The first step, just open the Vroid Studio. Then, just use any of the 3D avatar. And as demo, I'm going to just use an existing one. And now it is just open. Or you can just design your own 3D avatar in Vroid Studio. It is really easy, just need to click Create New. So now it is loading my 3D avatar. Now, this is one of the sample, one of the templates. Once you've done this step, once you already finished customize your 3D avatar here, then what you need to do is just click export as VRM. All right. Once you click export as VRM, just wait for a while until here appear. Next, just click export fill in your title and creator's name you can fill in your name here the title just name your vrm scroll down just click export and wait for a while once you click export it will load about a few seconds and now it is processing next as demo, I'm going to just save it on my desktop as model 03. Just click save. Now it will become a VRM file. And next step, what you need to do is just go to my video description link to get the VRM to FBX converter. Or we can just call it Vroid to FBX converter. Just get it from my official sites and download it into your computer. It will have totally three of the files. The first step, just open the Blender 2.9 that provided by me. Then next, you have to just back to your previous folder. In your Blender 2.9, click the Edit, Preferences, then install these two plugins. This two plugin is only available for Blender 2.9. And then once you you install, you need to click the add-on, install, copy the link, paste it here. First, install the Cat's Blenders plugin. Then make sure you activate the Cat's Blenders plugin. Next, install the VRM add-on for Blender release. Then make sure you activate the VRM, just click here, VRM, make sure you activate it. Once done this step, then you can close and close. In this tutorial, we are going to import the Vroid Studio 3D avatar into Blender 4.3, but we need to use the Blender 2.9 as a tool first. All right, first you click the empty area, press A and delete everything, then press N, you should be able to see the cats plug in at here. Click the triple line, import the VRM from the desktop. Model 03, it's at here. Double click it. Now it is going to import the VRM into Blender 2.9. Next step, click the wrench here, untick everything. We only want to leave the fixed material, make sure it is there. Click OK and click Fix Model. Now it is going to fix all the material texture for this 3D avatar in Blender. Once you've done this step, what you need to do is just save it, Control Shift S to save it as a blend file model 03. Save as a blend file, then you can close. And finally, you can open your latest Blender 
for today, the, the latest Blender is the Blender 4.3. Click the empty area, press A and delete everything. Now you just need to import this Blend file. Drag and drop to open. Just don't save the previous one. Now just have a look. You can see it already loaded into your Blender. Now we are going to just test the facial morph. The facial shape key. Click here to test it. For example, angry, fun, joy. So all of the facial morph, the facial shape key. The facial morph, the facial shape key, blend shape, no problem. The shape key will be okay. Next, we are going to test the skeletons. Click the skeleton, go to the post modes, and we are going to just have a look. Where it works normally, everything. Yes, so everything so far so good. So now this 3D avatar is already in Blender. Blender 4.3 and it is ready for you to make any 3D animations and you can do some further 3D modeling process in Blender as well. Alright, so in this tutorial, I already successfully show you how to import the Vroid Studio 3D avatar into Blender 4.3 with my own workflow. You need to use the VRM to FBX converter that you can get it from my official site. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video, tutorials, and sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!